Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is jam-packed with nursery organization for Oliver's Room and I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. We're going to be using my Cricut Explore 3 to create some beautiful vinyl labels for all these toys and towels and soaps and I cannot wait to show y'all all of the things that this machine is capable of. I'm also going to be washing and organizing all of his tiny cute little clothes. So if you are in need of some nesting or organizing motivation today, you came to the right place. Thank you so much for stopping by today's video. Grab yourself some coffee and let's tackle our to-do list together. Okay, so for drawer organization, I got these off of Amazon. And it came with a couple of these little square ones. And then it came with this square one that has um, the dividers in it. And then this little one with dividers, two regular rectangle ones, and then two regular square ones. So I'm gonna go organize those in a couple of the drawers. And then for the other drawers, I'm going to use these spring-loaded dividers. And I got six, so we'll probably put one in one drawer just to separate it into two. And then I'll use the other ones throughout the other drawers. And then I also picked these up off of Amazon. All of this organization stuff is Amazon. And these just say 18 to 24 months, um, three to six months, things like that, so that you can organize the clothes in the closet and you can find stuff easier. I wanted to make these top two drawers in his dresser super functional since they are really accessible when we're changing his diaper right there. So this first one that I'm working in, I'm just gonna go ahead and add one divider and I'm gonna end up moving it around a little bit because I wanna have a ton of diapers in this drawer so that we're ready to go when we need one. I'm gonna line up some newborn and size one diapers and then I'm also gonna add some wipes over there on the side with some desitin and butt paste and boogie wipes and all of the essentials. And then I actually saw somebody else put some little puppy pads in their drawer right below the changing pad so that when you change your baby, you can lay it down real quick on the changing pad and you don't ruin the sheet if they have a blowout. So I may end up putting some of those in here too. Okay, for this first drawer, I just loaded up newborn diapers right here, size one, size one. I figure we'll be mostly in size one because he's already really big and he's not even here yet. <laughs> I put some extra diapers back here, all of his little desitins, his butt paste, and then some boogie wipes. I had thrown some clothes of Oliver's that were not washed yet into his crib, so I'm just doing another load here. I'm gonna wash it with some dress. And then I also made several other piles in his crib. I made a pile of blankets and all of his passies and passy clips and things like that. In fact, before this video ever started, his nursery was a complete disaster and I went ahead and put everything into piles. Um, we had all of his baby shower stuff strewn everywhere and so I went ahead and took all of his bottles and bottle brushes to the kitchen and then I took all of his bathroom towels and soaps to the bathroom and that really helped cut down on a lot of the clutter. And now I'm just working in this other top drawer, unfolding all of his bibs and burp rags. Only to burn me to the ground, is it that easy? Saying my name to hear the sound, never release me. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my nursery makeover video down in the description box just in case you missed it. That's the video where we finished all of the board and batten and painted his room and put together all of his furniture and really set his room up. And we love the way everything came together. And then also, either right before this video or right after it, I will have a hospital bag video where I show you everything that I'm packing for the hospital and putting together his car seat, cleaning out my car, putting together his high chair. So lots more baby prep and I'll link that if it's already out and if it's not it will be very soon. Okay top two drawers are done now. I just put bibs and burp rags in this one and then this one is diapers and wipes. So all of the essentials right there on top. Myself. That's how it goes When you're running for another 
For his dresser, I wanted all of these drawers to be functional with things that we use on a daily basis, but I didn't want to just fill up his dresser with all of his clothes because I really like to have clothes hung up in the closet so that I can see what everything looks like. It's just easier for me that way. So for this second drawer right here, I'm putting all of his wubbinubs and passy clips and pacifiers and swaddle blankets. And then in the one right next to that, we'll have all of his shoes and socks. And I will have a few clothes there on the bottom two drawers, but it's going to be mostly clothes that he doesn't wear all the time or those big teddy bear suits for the winter time. Um, or just more Velcro swaddles, things like that. And then all of his sleepers and all of his cute little clothes will be hung up in his closet. Just the sweetest thing I never had, I can't regret, even though I may be sad. Okay, for the second drawer, I just put all of his little swaddle blankets in here, all of his passies. He's got a bunch of different passies because I've been told that babies are picky when it comes to these. So I have this little, um, what's this brand, cutie pat. And then we've got some of these bib passies and lots of nook because my mom always says that we loved nook. And then I've got his wubba nubs right here. And then underneath his wubba nubs, I have all of his little passy clips. We have a lot of those already packed into his hospital bag. So that's that drawer, and I love how these things fit in these drawers. I didn't even measure when I ordered these, like a ding dong, but they fit perfectly, so that worked out. And now we're moving on to this drawer. I don't belong in the desert. I'm never lost. If y'all can think of anything that I might be missing for little baby Oliver, please let me know in the comments below because I obviously am a first time mom, have no idea what I'm doing. And so basically all of the things that I'm organizing are things that my sisters and mom have told me about or things that I've received at baby showers. And so I definitely don't want to be missing something that's crucial, especially for his little newborn days. So if you can think of anything that I might desperately need in those first few days of his life, Drop them down below and I can run get them before we're induced in about a week. So yeah, definitely let me know. Okay, so for this drawer, I did all of his little baby accessories. I've got all of his shoes right here, and these are not all of his shoes, but these are the shoes that he's probably gonna fit into the soonest. I'm really hoping that he fits into these right away <laughs> because they're so stinking cute, and they're perfect for winter. And then these little bear slippers are so cute. Those are from Target. So he's got some little Converse and some little loafers. Oh my word, these are tiny in person and so cute for church. And then he's got his little vans and then my cousin actually um, gave him these as hand-me-downs. Her little boy wore these and they're leather little moccasins. So cute and I got a navy blue pair too. And then these are just from the children's place I think. So lots of cute little shoes. And then I've got his other accessories right here. Some suspenders, some baby mittens, and some baby sunglasses. And then all of his hats right here, all of his baby socks right here. And over time, this may change how I have this organized, but for right now, this is working for us. And I really like that all of these drawers are used for things that are not clothes because I want the majority of his clothes in his closet because that's how I like my clothes too. Whenever I'm trying to find something to wear, it's a lot easier when it's all hanging up. So now we just have to do the bottom two. each other there through anything and back here again I 
Guess the desert took us there. Whenever you So for these two bottom drawers, I went ahead and put the dividers in, but I'm actually waiting for his clothes to get done in the dryer. So I think I'm gonna use this one for onesies just because we, he doesn't have very many onesies. And then the rest of these will be for other clothes maybe that he doesn't wear right away. We'll figure that out when we get all of his clothes out of the washer and dryer. But now let's move on to the closet. I never did get around to ripping off the painter's tape after we did his nursery makeover. So I went ahead and took care of that. And I also wanted to mention, I know I did a little office makeover, or office, I know I did a little closet makeover earlier on in my pregnancy, but a lot of things have changed since then because one of the baskets was not the same size as the other ones on the top, and it really bothered me. So I went ahead and returned those to TJ Maxx, and I got some new ones. And right now, all of that stuff that's up there is either stuff that was given to me at baby showers or donations from, like, my sisters or my cousins, like hand-me-downs. And also, all of those clothes on that right side of the closet are hand-me-downs from my cousin's baby, too. And he had the cutest little clothes, so I'm going to go ahead and pull those off the hangers and sort through them and make sure that they are the right size for when Oliver is that size. And then the rest of these clothes still have the tags on them because they won't fit him for several months, like six to 12 months. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of his newborn clothes and zero to three on the bottom half of the closet. And then on the top half, he will have all of the rest of them that he won't fit into right away. I know it's gonna be a minute before he's crawling around on the floor and playing, but I did go ahead and purchase some little toy bins for the top of that white thing because I figured eventually he's gonna be crawling around down there wanting his books and stuffed animals and toys all in one spot. And so I made that a little area for him to crawl in and get what he wants. And then I had two of these baskets already that were sitting on top of that white thing. And then my sister-in-law conveniently gave me a bunch of goodies in one of these same baskets. And so I decided, well, I'll just put those on the top and that looks so much better anyways. And then I'm gonna go ahead and store his um, hand-me-downs up there and extra diapers and extra breast pump stuff. So that worked out perfectly. And then the bottom half of the closet underneath those hangers, I'm gonna store some boxes that have not been opened yet of like his little crawl toys and things like that. And then when we open those, I'll put some more toy baskets down there. Hey, won't you pull me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck. Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. I purchased those white wood bins from TJ Maxx and I'm just using one of the holes for all of his stuffed animals and one of them for his books and then I'm going to use that last one for all of his blankets. I'll fold those a little bit later on in the video and put them in there. And then for those white baskets a little bit higher in the closet, I'm going to use those for all of his baby medicines and extra breast pump stuff and his outlet. I did have these really organized in my closet makeover video for him, but they have just gotten destroyed and so we've got to get them back to being organized. But I really love the way that this played out because now all of the stuff that Oliver can play with and reach is on the bottom and then all of the stuff that I will need on a daily basis is right here in these white baskets and then all of the things that we won't need very often are all in the top in those three baskets. Okay, so for these baskets, I think this one I'm going to put all of his like extra medicines, nose Frida. Um, he has an extra kit here that has like a thermometer, a brush, a nose squeegee, little uh, nail clippers. I've got some extra samples of dress that I'm going to throw in there, some gas relief. And this is so funny. My cousin gave me this. It's um, an emergency blowout kit. So I'm going to put one of those in his diaper bag. And then I'm going to 
throw the other one right there. And then we've got some chest rub. So this will be just like all of his extra medicines and random baby things. These are some of the bins that I created with my Cricut. I wanted his little bathroom cabinets to be really organized so that our bath time would be really easy. So I used my Cricut Explore 3 to make these little vinyl labels. And I'm actually somebody who gets extremely intimidated by equipment like this, but Cricut always shocks me with how easy everything is. You literally just have to plug up your machine to your computer and use their Cricut design space to type what you want your label to say. And then once you type in what you like, you can change the font and the size at the top. And lots of great fonts actually come free with their design space. Or you can purchase different fonts for like four bucks, which is super nice. And then once you get your design how you like, you just hit make it. And for the Explore 3, you actually don't even need a mat. So I just hit the button that says without mat, and then it lets you review your artwork before pressing continue. And then after that, you will just insert your vinyl into the machine and press go. And I'm using the permanent vinyl today. And this machine cuts so incredibly fast. So in a matter of seconds, all of your labels will be good to go. There's several different ways you can actually get your design onto the surface of your project. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways. So for his bathroom bins, I wanted the labels to look really playful and kind of messy. So I'm just using my fingers and the help of their weeding tool to stick them to this little bin. But if you wanted a more perfect, flawless look, you can use their transfer paper. And I'm gonna be making another project here in just a second and I'll show you how their transfer paper works. But basically, once you get your design, you just stick the transfer paper to the back of it and then peel the paper off and then you can actually just press that paper directly to the surface of your project and it peels right away and all of your letters are lined up perfectly. So it just depends on your decision for that. You can make it really playful and fun or you can make it super perfect and flawless. Right here I'm using their fine tweezers to kind of grasp the end of the letter and then I'll place it where I want it and just use my fingers to place the rest of the letter and I find that these tweezers are really helpful too. Here is the finished product. I love how these turned out. They look so playful and fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get these underneath the bathroom sink and get them organized. It's midnight. Oh, I'm thinking about him. I have got him on my mind, but he doesn't know my name. I'm running out of time. I wish he felt the same. And I'm acting stupid like every day. Don't know what to do or what I should say. I also wanted to make a label for the top of Oliver's wipes, so I already made it. It's right here in front of me, and I just wanted to show y'all how this transfer paper works. So I'm just peeling the sticker part of the transfer paper off, and I'm sticking it straight to my design, and I'm just using the Cricut scraping tool to make sure everything is smooth, and then I'll flip my design over, peel the white paper off, and I'm just using my weeding tool to make sure all of the letters stick down. 
And then once I get that white paper peeled off, I'm gonna use my weeding tool once more and make sure all of the pieces that I don't want on my design are peeled off. So like the inside of the P and then around all of the letters, I will peel that off and then I will just stick this directly to my project and it will be done. It just does not get much more simple than this. I've also created lots of personalized sippy cups for Oliver, and I'm looking forward to creating him so much more. If you are looking to get yourself your very own Cricut machine, or maybe someone you love would like to have one for Christmas, make sure that you click that link down in my description box, and thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Lots of Oliver's laundry just came out of the dryer, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up one of my little YouTube friends on my phone, and I'm gonna watch her nest as I sort all of his clothes out. And so I'm just going to sort his clothes into like shirts, um, one piece zippers, and then probably pants, and then we'll get some hangers out and we'll start hanging them up and putting his little pants away. This is probably my most favorite part of nesting, is just dealing with all of his cute, tiny little clothes. They are so small, and I cannot even comprehend the fact that I'm going to have a human that is this small right here in my house, and I have to figure out how to take care of it. <laughs> I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You say I just need you, I don't know what it is you do I just want you, I just need you I don't know what it is you do I don't think I've even mentioned this yet, and just in case you're brand new to my channel, I'm about 38 weeks pregnant when you're seeing this video, and I'm due November 8th, but they are actually going to induce me on November 1st. I've had a gestational diabetes, and so they're going to induce me one week before my due date, and I am so excited to meet this little boy, but I'm also so anxious about the whole labor process, so if you have any advice for me, and you're a mom, I would love to hear what you have to say. And then also any kind of unexpected events or anything that popped up after labor, I would love to know what you experienced and how you dealt with it. I love hearing these stories and honestly, I don't care if they're scary. I like to be prepared and I like to know all of the events that might take place so that I can mentally prepare myself. I know that everybody's situation is completely different from the next, but it's always good to just know the possibilities. Right here, I'm just sticking all of his little onesies into these little holes. He doesn't have too many onesies, so I figured I would use that for those for now, and then I'm gonna fold his little pants and put them in the other side. Let's get in the car and you'll drive. We're leaving tonight. Away from these streets and the cold buzzing neon lights. Been keeping our heads above water, struggling and striving. We ain't gonna turn back this time, we'll just keep driving. You got one hand on money, one hand on the steering wheel, world's passing by outside. The flickering light of the white lights in the corner. I 
have so many zero to three month clothes, it's ridiculous. Let me know down in the comments below how long your baby was in zero to three. I was always told by everybody that newborn goes so fast, so don't buy a lot of newborn. So I personally did not buy any newborn, maybe like one or two things. And then I actually had several people give me newborn outfits, but we still have probably 10 or less newborn outfits altogether. And that's probably about perfect for him because he's measuring really large. But for zero to three, I have like 50 or more outfits, um, including sleepers and gowns and little outfits. So it's just a ridiculous amount of clothes for the zero to three month phase. And I know they don't even wear these zero to three month clothes until they're three months old. Like it goes way quicker than that even. Um, I mean, I know it's different for every baby, but that's what I've heard from a lot of people. But definitely let me know down in the comments below, how long did your baby wear zero to three month clothes? My sister always tells me that zero to three lasted a lot longer than newborn and so I just went a little bit overboard, went crazy with the zero to three because I'm thinking about the here and now and what I can put on my baby right away and I did not think long term so he has like hardly any three to six month clothes and like no six to twelve month clothes, only a few sprinkled here and there so we're going to have to do lots of shopping and I do not know what I'm going to do with all those zero to three month clothes when he grows out of them. But anyways, I got these little things to separate his clothes from Amazon and I just have his newborn on the left bottom and then all of his zero to three on the bottom right and we'll put all the rest of them on the top.
think we finally reached the end of putting away all of his clothes other than those hand-me-downs that I need to go through. I'm actually not going to go through those in today's video. I'm just going to kind of put them all in a basket and we will do that later. Most of them are for later on anyways. There's not any zero to three or newborn. I finished organizing those white baskets. I just used one for my outlet and one for breastfeeding stuff. And then for the top three baskets in the closet, for this one I'm just loading it up with extra diapers and then we have more diapers in the garage that I can fill it up with again when that gets empty. And then I'm filling up this middle one with all of his hand-me-downs and then the other one will be filled up with all of his extras like extra breast pump parts, extra um, socks, extra everything. So that'll just be our extra basket up there. But all of the things that we won't need to access right away are in those top three bigger baskets. Only you and me, we both walked away from nothing to say. We're all just been used, nobody sees the truth. Of course we're yearning for something, yet yeah, we're still burning in a wanting. Okay, coming at you from the next day, I went ahead and vacuumed the floors in here and got everything cleaned up for the most part. I did all the rest of his laundry. Some of it is still in the washer and dryer, but it's almost completely finished. His room is cleaned up. Everything is almost good to go. I'm so excited to finally have this done, but I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the organization part of his room. And for his room, it's kind of small. At first, I didn't think it was that small until we started putting furniture in here. And then I realized, okay, we really don't have that much room to work with. I was gonna initially put a little table right there with some drawers for storage, but I think instead I'm gonna get a little basket for right there to have all of his um, breast pump stuff in there just in case I wanna use that chair for um, breastfeeding. But for now, we have the changing table and the dresser as one, which saves us a ton of room. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how these drawers are laid out. Um, his little, <clears throat> his little basket right here is full of diapers and then we have his wipes right here and eventually I will fill this up and it has a little weight in here to put on top but for now I just stuck these in here and then I just have some decorations right there I don't know how long they will last but I thought that little red stool was so cute and I didn't have really anywhere else to put it in here so that's where it landed for this very first drawer I have all of his bibs on one side and all of his burp rags on the other. And these are just regular bibs that I picked up from TJ Maxx and their farm animals to match all the rest of his stuff and I thought those were so cute. And then underneath that we have all of his little bandana bibs. Will's aunt sent us a ton of these multicolored bandana bibs, one to match every single outfit, which is awesome. And then my friend Sarah sent me these little bibs, they're like the silicone with the pocket, those are really nice. And then I actually had a YouTube subscriber send me these, and this is a really cool story. She's actually a teacher right down the road from me, and she found me on YouTube, which is so fun. So thank you so much for sending me those. She also sent me some baby clothes and a baby blanket. That was so nice. And then right here I just have all my muslin um, baby burp rags, and then I got this one for free off of some boutique when I ordered an outfit for Oliver. And then I got those at my baby shower. I have a whole bunch more of these that I can stock in here, but for right now, I just put them in storage because I'm sure we'll go through lots of these. When these go in the wash, I'll replace as we go. But that's that first drawer. Over here, we have all of his newborn diapers and then size one. I've been told that you don't go through very many of these, so I didn't stock very many of these, but honestly, now looking at it, this is probably like one day's worth. <laughs> so I may have to replace one of these with all newborn, but We'll see how that goes for us. He's supposed to be a big baby, so we'll see. And then I have all of his desitins and um, butt paste, and then I got some boogie wipes in there, and then just some extra wipes back there. Down here, I have all of his little shoes, and I love this drawer, this is so cute. We've got his little tiny socks right here, all of his little hats and beanies right here, and then, I went ahead and uh, stacked his shoes like this because he doesn't have very many yet. After he grows out of these, I may use this for socks or something else, but I love that it has all the little dividers. That's super helpful. So I have his little slippers right here, his little Converse, little moccasins from my cousin. Those are actually hand-me-downs. 
and I'm so excited about those. I think they're so cute. And then my sister gave me her little vans from her little boy. I picked up these little loafers from a boutique called the Toggery, and I think those are so stinking cute. They are so tiny. <laughs> so you wear those to church. And then just some other little shoes tucked in there. These are all of his little baby mittens, and then some suspenders, and his little sunglasses. So cute. So that's it for that drawer, and now we will move over next to this one. This is all of his swaddles, and right here are his Velcro swaddles, and then I have some more down there I'll show you in just a second, but these are all of the muslin material swaddles, and then these are the Velcro ones. This is all of his Wubba Nubs, and then underneath his Wubba Nubs, I have all of his little pacifier clips, and then just a whole bunch of extra passies back here. I think I said this earlier, but I bought a bunch of different passies because I wasn't sure what he would like, and I've been told that babies are picky when it comes to pacifiers, so we just got a little combination of everything. All right, going down here, um, I wasn't sure what to do with these two bottom drawers, but for now, I went ahead and put all of his newborn and zero to three month little pants in here, like little sweatpants and leggings. And then in the middle here, I have his little teddy bear outfit. That's for when it gets really cold. And then over here, this is another one of those divider um, situations. And so I just stocked it full of his newborn and zero to three onesies. And we still have a few of those in the wash. And then over here, this is kind of a random drawer for right now. I'm gonna use it for clothes once some more clothes come out of the washer, but I actually just got these at a baby shower um, from Will's job. A lady from his work got him these, and these are so stinking cute. I have his little swim trunks right here for now that I picked up this past summer at Target. I have his little milestone markers right here for now, and then this is one of those halo swaddles that we also got from our baby shower at Will's job, and I'm excited to try that. I've heard good things about those. And then I actually bought that from Hobby Lobby um, for decoration in here, and I don't know where to put it yet, so that's where it's gonna stay. So that is pretty much it for his little area over here. I've got his diaper genie right here, and we have all of his refills and a little basket in the closet that I'm gonna show you here in just a second. And then these light, um, what do you call them? Night lights came from Amazon, and Will's aunt actually sent those to us from Georgia. And those are super cool because you don't even have to turn them on. They automatically come on when the lights go off. And they're pretty dim, which keeps it really, you know, not so crazy lit up in here. And it's just like the perfect amount of light when it gets dark outside. But now we're gonna head over to the closet. Let me show you what we got going on in here. Okay, like I said, we're still doing some laundry. So there's lots of stuff still in the washer and dryer. But as for right now, I have all of these baskets up here filled up. So this one over here is filled with all of his extra diapers and wipes. And then we actually have some more diapers and wipes in the garage and we'll just refill that basket as we go. This middle one is full of hand-me-downs from my cousin. My cousin Brianna gave me a ton of hand-me-downs from her little boy and they're so cute. And I just need to go through them and make sure that certain things will be all of her size when the season is right for like long sleeves or whatever which I think most of it is, that's awesome. And then this one over here is filled with extra baby stuff. We have extra socks up there, and then some extra breast pump stuff, and just extras. And then down here, I have these three little baskets lined up. This one is full of all of Oliver's medicines. So we've got his gas relief, his gripe water, baby Tylenol, I think there's some vapor rub down there. We've got a blowout kit, and then this little extra kit with a what do you call it, a um, baby brush, clippers, thermometer, things like that. This is his outlet that my cousin gave me and I have to learn how to use that. <laughs> and then this one is filled up with all of my breast pump stuff. I got a sample of these lactation cookies and I wasn't sure about them, but I've heard so many good things about them now. And so I think I'm gonna go get a whole bunch more for when I have the baby. This is the chocolate salted caramel one, but there's a whole bunch of different flavors you can get. And then I've got those little pads that go inside your um, nursing bra. And then this is just extra bags, it looks like, for breast milk. And then this is a breast um, pump, I believe, that my sister gave me. I have to learn how to use that. I have so many things that I need to learn how to do. I don't know how to use this. I don't know how to do any of this. 
So we're gonna have to learn a lot in this process. But anyways, that's the way that side is laid out. Right here, I have lots of room for extra clothes as they come out of the washer and dryer and also as we buy them because for some reason, I bought a ton of zero to three and then this is his like three to six months. So I'm gonna have to do some shopping when he gets to be about three to six months. Um, and then over here, I'll probably eventually have some more stuff going on, winter jackets or something over there. But for right now, what I did is I laid it out to where this is all zero to three, and then this is his newborn stuff. I packed a lot of his newborn stuff in his hospital bag, but I think I packed too much, so I'm gonna narrow that down and put some back in here. But this is all of his little tiny clothes that he's gonna get to wear pretty soon, and I'm so excited. He's got some little Christmas outfits, and I'm just so stinking excited. This is so cute. I found this at um, the children's place, I believe, or maybe it was Carter's. Um, and all of these clothes are washed and ready to go. And then up here, I have his little robe. He actually has another little robe that's in the washer. Um, this one has not been washed yet. In fact, a lot of this stuff is not washed yet just because he can't wear it for a while. This, I believe I did wash, but these are three to six months. He's got some little jammies there. They have little pants that match. That's from Target. And then just some other little sleepers up here. This is all three to six months. And then we have six to nine months right here. He's got a few sleepers for that. So we didn't do so hot in getting clothes for six months and above. We'll have to work on that. This is nine to 12 months. Looks like he's just got a bubble in that one. And then um, 12 to 18 months. And then 12, 18 to 24 months. So we'll get to do some shopping for him when it comes time to fit into that size but he is good to go for the first three months at least and then down here I just have some extra boxes he's got some toys that people gave him that I need to unbox and then this thing is really cool I got this from I believe the second grade team at my school and it is a cover for your grocery cart and I thought that was so cute I think it came from Amazon over here, I have this little thing laid out to where it's mostly toys. So this basket is lots of baby toys that he can play with pretty soon. And then this over here is the bigger boy toys that he'll play with sooner or later. I don't know when, how old you have to be to enjoy that stuff. But anywho, those are both toys. Down here, I have all of his blankets lined up. And he has a bunch more blankets. There's some in the living room and then some in the master bedroom. And I also packed a couple in his hospital bag but lots of blankets and then he's got lots of books here and then over here I just put all of his stuffed animals my little nephew Brody is so sweet and he gave Oliver a lot of his stuffed animals so some of those are in there he's got a big Mickey and a big um what do you call that show there's some character from a cartoon in there I forget what it's called but anyways lots of stuffed animals there so blankets books stuffed animals and then toys I really like this layout because this is all stuff that he can play with and touch and mess up. And then over here, once we unbox those, we'll probably have a basket of toys or something there. But that's pretty much how it is laid out so far. I really love the way that it looks and I love that it's pretty functional and I love that we have extra space to work with. It's not packed full yet and that's awesome. We have room to grow. So that is his closet. The only other thing, <clears throat> I think I already mentioned this, but the only other thing that I want to do in here is to make sure I get either a really tiny table for right here or a basket to put all of his breast pump stuff in and maybe like some snacks or something that I might need for when I'm sitting in that chair feeding him. But other than that, everything is pretty much good to go. I'm so excited about the way everything turned out. I feel like it's going to be pretty functional. And we can always change things as we go to if we need to, but that is pretty much it. Okay, for his little bathroom sink, underneath his sink, I went ahead and made a basket for towels. And these are all his little bath towels. He's got one that says his name on it from all my um, fifth grade team at work. That was so sweet. And then he's got a little cow towel, a little elephant, and then some extra baby towels back there. I have some more in the laundry room. We need to wash all these. They have yet to be washed and then all of his soaps. I actually have some more soaps that I need to try to fit back there too. So we are set for the bathroom stuff and then over here I have all of his 
toys in this drawer. And this will probably change a little bit as we go, but all of his little bath toys. And then these are really cool. I'm gonna put one in the master bath and then keep one in here. But it tells you if the bath water is too hot for the baby. Those are from Target, I think. Got those off my registry. That was awesome. And then in here, I haven't organized this yet, but this will be all of his washcloths. And then this thing is really handy too because it's silicone and it doesn't hurt them when you're trying to rinse their hair out. If you accidentally drop it on their head, you're set because it's silicone. So that's really nice. And then we don't have anything in this drawer yet. I may actually use this first drawer for extra toothbrushes and toothpaste for when people come to stay and help with Oliver. Haven't decided on that yet. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just running back through his room to give y'all one last look at all of the organization. I'm super happy with how everything turned out. And now I just cannot wait for his little self to get here. We only have one more week and he will be in our arms, which is so wild to think about. And if you're here watching today and you're earlier on in your pregnancy, my biggest piece of advice is to get everything done before you're 35 weeks pregnant because after that, everything just goes downhill. My body kind of just started giving up on me, but I'm still so glad that we got everything tackled before he arrived. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I have one or two more videos before he's born. And then I'm also trying to pre-film some exciting videos to post while he's in those itty bitty newborn days. But thanks again so much for watching and I will see y'all very soon.